Hey there, welcome, it's Julia, and you are joining me here at Practice Everywhere for another one of my quick 10 by 10 workouts. This 10 by 10 is for the upper body. We're going to alternate between some exercises that help us push, help us pull, and also help us stabilize in our upper body. So I'm going to be working with some pretty light dumbbells. I've got some eight pounders. We'll see how that goes. I'd advise you to have threes, fives, eights. If you're feeling sassy, 10, but I do recommend having something that's lighter than 10 if you're working in those double digit numbers. Remember that you can do any of these exercises without weights at all. And you might find that because of the structure of this workout, you will need to modify. So keep that in mind. Do your very best with your best form. That's the name of the game. All right, so set your weights aside. We're going to get started. This is gonna be that 10 by 10 structure. So 10 exercises, one minute each, we're gonna have a rest. And so that means you're gonna have 10 total working minutes of pretty intense exercises. We're going to begin today in a plank just to get everything warmed up and to get, of course, our upper body going as well because that's the focus of today. Find your high plank in three, two, one, one minute on. So we're gonna come into a high plank for the first 30 seconds. We'll take it down into a forearm plank for the last 30 seconds. Turn on your glutes, turn on your legs, push through your hands and keep your chest wide. Good news is this is the only plank minute that you have in today's workout. You're gonna come into that forearm plank in three, two, one, drop it down to your forearms, keep your chest wide and let your butt come in line with your armpits. So if it's creeping up like a dolphin, lower your pelvis down. You've got it, 20 seconds left. Stay really strong, push the ground away and keep your chest nice and open. Make sure you're breathing. Less than 10 seconds. You've got this. Put your knees down in three, two, one knees down. All right, we've got 30 seconds to recover from that. I encourage you to roll your shoulders back, spot your weights, keep breathing nice and deep. We'll take this from a kneeling position. So if your knees are tender, put a blanket underneath your knees. We're gonna come into just some basic curls from a kneeling position. Because you're in a kneeling position, we get that bonus of having to stabilize ourselves a little bit more. Turn your palms forward. Your arms are gonna be right near your front ribs. We begin in three, two, one, let's go. So we'll alternate for the first 30 seconds, full range of motion, and then we'll kick up the intensity, working both arms at a time. So when we're doing curls, especially since we know that we have a lot more work coming up in front of us, avoid going too fast or swinging. Fantastic. Let's kick it up a notch with both arms. Here we go. Curling up and down at the same time. I want you to notice the way down. So slowing it down so that you're resisting gravity a little bit, getting that eccentric contraction of the muscle. Fantastic. You're doing a great job. Continue with the curls. Don't let your shoulders become earrings. <laughs> uh, all right. Just a couple more. You've got four. Three, two, one. Nice work, set those aside for a moment. Shake out your arms. We'll come into a tabletop position for our tabletop alternating rows to begin. So there will be a weight in each hand. Most weights have a flat edge, so make sure that that flat edge is down to the ground. You still have about 10 more seconds to recover, but also use this as an opportunity to come into some really good form. Keep your chest nice and wide. We begin in three, two, one, belly in, row it back. Good, so we're alternating. For the first 30 seconds, we're gonna keep our legs where they're at. For the last 30 seconds, we're going to kick the opposite leg behind us for a toe tap. As you pull your weight back, squeeze the shoulder blade in towards the spine, draw the weight head back towards your hip. All right, let's add in those legs in three, two, one. So you're gonna pull it back, toe tap, return. So what is this doing? This is just making that stability challenge a little bit bigger. 
not really increasing the challenge for the upper body, but increasing the challenge for your stabilization system, which is always good. So we're getting a little extra work. Continue to pull that weight head back. Squeeze the shoulder blade in towards your spine. You've got four, three, two, one. 30 seconds of rest. This builds upon itself. So it's okay if you're like, oh, I still got a lot of more juice in the tank. That's great news because we want to be able to get through this entire workout feeling really good and strong. So stand on up, bring your weights with you. We're gonna come into some kickbacks from a chair position. So step your feet hips width distance, bend into your chair and hinge your chest forward. You're gonna pull it back just like those rows you just did, but we're gonna alternate kicking back through the triceps. So straight back and notice I'm keeping my chest open. I want you to do the same. Put your weight back into your heels. We'll come into the double arms on the back half of this minute to turn up that intensity. Now, your chest might be trying to lift up. I want you to stay bent over here. So you really target the back of your arms because that's what's pushing against gravity. Here we go, both arms, kick it back. Good, kick back. Stay low in your chair, adding a little extra intensity. Keep your chest wide open and bring your heart over your kneecaps so that when we're working against gravity, we're not getting into our shoulders, we can really target the back of our arms. Kick that weight head high to the ceiling. You've got it for four, three, two, one. Nice job, set those weights down. Come back down, shake out your arms. Doing awesome. I really encourage you to use these 30 seconds to catch your breath. We're gonna come back to a kneeling position with some wide arms and then scaption. Okay, so scaption is scapula elevated plane. So we're moving out on an angle, targeting the muscles that support our scapula. Now, your weights might feel heavy for that one. So this is a great time to drop it down to a lower weight or no weight if you so choose. Turn your arms out, palm face out on an angle. We're gonna start with that curl. Take it in, lower it down turn so your weight heads are neutral, your shoulder rotations at neutral, out on an angle, lower it down. That's what it is. Curl, take it wide. Now, if this causes pinchy pain or you can't do the motion fluidly, I want you to reduce weight. This is like prehab for our shoulders, okay? So if it's feeling like too much effort, or you can't complete the entire motion, or there's pain, reduce your range of motion and reduce the weight. That might even mean no weight. And that's okay because we have plenty of exercises ahead of us. So don't feel like you have to go all the way out on every single one. A minute can be a long time to do something. And you might notice that one arm gets more fatigued than the other. I'm noticing that my right arm is getting more fatigued than my left arm, which makes sense because my right arm is typically the one that gives me trouble. We have about 10 seconds. Stay strong. Four, three, two, one. Set those weights down. Roll your shoulders back. You might even do back strokes with your arms if you choose. 30 seconds, recover your breath. <sighs> Fantastic. So we're gonna come back to a tabletop position and we're going to go now isolating the rows, put 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, either with a toe tap or elevating the opposite leg. Come on down into that start position. We go again in three, two, one. Left leg steps back, row the right arm. Good. So if it's difficult for your left hand pressing down on the weight, you can always, always just put your left hand flat on the ground, pull that weight back, draw your belly in, Added stability challenge of lifting the left leg if you so choose. The toe can always cap down if you want. 
Fantastic. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one. Switch sides. Remember, toe can tap or draw the belly in, float the leg. For added stability challenge, you should feel your core working here either way. But focus on drawing your shoulder blade in towards the spine. Stick with it. You got 10 seconds to go. Super duper strong. Four, three, two, one. Release. Nice job. Shake out your hands a little bit. Shake out your back. You've got about 15 more seconds to catch your breath. <sighs> All right, we're gonna come back to our kneeling position and go into hammer curls, okay? Now, if you want, you can always float the toes, turn on the hamstrings a little bit more, but if you do that, don't let, dump into the low back, squeeze your glutes. Hammer curls, the palms face in, roll your shoulders back, keep your chest nice and lifted, start with alternating. Up, up, good. So we're alternating, we'll kick up the intensity for the back half of the minute, staying strong. Notice if you're swinging your arms, that's what tends to happen. We try to use our shoulders more than bending at our elbows when things are getting heavy. But you have your options, right? You can reduce weight. You do this with no weight. Three, two, one. Let's go both arms at a time, curling it up. Notice that resistance down. So almost like it's just slightly slower on the way back to earth. You should be feeling the fatigue at this point. That's good news. We're not scared of that. We're giving it our all. Stay strong, chest high and proud. You've got this. I'm right here with you. You got three, two, one. Fantastic. Set your weights down, shake out your upper body. I really do hope that you're feeling all of this. As we move into our next exercise, you may wanna drop down a weight or do no weight at all. We're gonna be working with reverse flies, continuing to target the upper back. We've been alternating between front body, back body a little bit. And so this is gonna be a great time to check in to see if you wanna reduce weight. Come back to that chair position we found before. Roll the shoulders down your back, keep your elbows bent. And if you want, you can put some space between your feet. We go in three, two, one. Fly it out and in, out, and in. So you might notice right away, this feels a lot heavier. It is, it's a longer lever on your shoulder joint. Draw your shoulder blades in towards your spine. Keep your chest wide. I feel every inch of these, you probably do too. You don't have to go fast. You can go nice and slow. The most important thing is that your shoulder arms don't come in front of your shoulders, okay? So keep them back a little bit. Super strong. Got about 15 seconds. Widen out. Elbows can be soft, but you are keeping a pretty long arm. You've got three, two, one. Whew. For me, those are the toughest. I have past injuries in my shoulder, and so I always like to pay attention. How do some of those bigger motions feel? And am I pulling it all into my trap, which is not what we want to do. We want to really distribute that energy. So that's a really great exercise to check in to see with how you're doing. Okay, we've got two more in front of us. You're doing awesome. Grab your weights. We're going to come into a front raise. Like I said, you might want to drop weight. That's okay. Roll your shoulders down your back. Open up your chest. We begin in three, two, one. Alternate, right arm up and down. So we're not coming above the collarbone, just right up to collarbone height and lower and notice the way down. So this is a great opportunity to reduce weight if you need to. Keep your spine nice and tall. Check in with that form. You're doing awesome. We're gonna turn up the intensity if you so choose. You can always stay with the alternating. We're gonna go with double arms in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. 
and we're on the kneeling position, so we're noticing our core has to work even harder to keep us centralized, to reduce the sway. Yes, these everything is building. These are intense. And I know they're intense just because of what they are, but it's also because we are ending. We're nearing completion. We've got four, three, two, one. All right, we're coming into the home stretch, that final minute of work. I want you to stay just as focused as you were at the beginning of this workout. I'm feeling very sweaty. You probably are too. That is great news. In this one, we're going into an Arnold press. So if you're already feeling a lot of pinch in the shoulders, maybe you just do another round of bicep curls or another workout exercise from previous today. But Arnold Press is a great way to really work on the mobility and stability of our shoulders in this combo move. So grab your weights, you're gonna curl them up, palms face in. As you press out, you're gonna turn the arms out. So you're gonna feel the rotation in three, two, one, let's go. Press it overhead, find that rotation, bring them back down. Good. Now, notice if your arm's trying to cross in front of your face, keep them in a smooth upward line and resist on the way down. So I want you to find a full extension at your elbows at the top. You might hold there for a beat and then slow it down on the way down. Doing amazing work. Stay super strong with it. Fantastic job. Go and get it, you've got this. We've got 10 seconds ahead of us, we're doing this together. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more good one, and we're done. I am sweaty, I am a little sore. Let's roll those shoulders out, taking just gentle backwards motion. Maybe you come all the way down to a seat to do that. Good, now add some bend at the elbow. So you're drawing the elbow back with it. Fantastic, now send your palms forward, turn your fingertips down. We're gonna take that position, but then send it out wide, stretching out through your biceps, up into your shoulders. Take your hands behind your back, they can touch your sacrum, or they can interlace if they interlace groovy. If they don't, don't worry about it. Hug the elbows in. If your hands are bound, drop the knuckles towards the floor, squeeze your shoulder blades together, getting that nice chest expansion. Good, one more breath. Let that go. Cross an arm overhead, find a little tricep stretch, lean your head back. Let your fingertips drape down your upper back. As you're grabbing onto your elbow, push down a little bit, lean back a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out, switch sides. Same idea, you're getting tall through the spine, lean back a little bit. So you're adding just a little extra, little extra force, a little extra oomph. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, relax your arms and you did it. So again, this was my 10 by 10 workout for your upper body. We introduced a few moves today that were specifically great for our shoulders, especially if you're trying to build some shoulder stability. That said, that also means they're difficult moves. So you might notice that you're sore or fatigued tomorrow. If that's the case, remember, one way that we take care of ourselves is recognizing the signals from our body. So tomorrow might be a great day to do a lower body workout or one of our flows that don't involve being in down dog or using your hands. Once your arms are feeling ready for it, try this workout again, and maybe you pick up heavier weights or keep your weights in your hand the entire time. You did absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to see you in another workout like this or one of my flows right here at Practice Everywhere. See you next time.